guys hope everybody is doing really 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 well um i've just opened a massive box of wrenches spanners um ev nearly all the items are back -o. there's some other brands i've just tipped them out um some of the brands are cronensburg and um, they actually have a factory um right next to Baco, um like a few miles across the border so this they're pretty much identical to Baco, but they have weird sizes like they have a five inch seven inch where Baco is six you know four six eight the more traditional sizes um and then i don't even know what's in there i've not looked at it so it's quite the haul this was all one lot um bar three items which I've won off the same seller and then I got into, so it's like 31 items in one lot and then three in another lot. But basically it's one lot, one lot of postage. The postage wasn't cheap neither and um, all one lot. So I'm going to quickly have a look and see what I've just got out of the box and then we'll see and we'll take a closer look. Right guys, well that wasn't <laughs> easy. Right, so we've basically um, sorted them out roughly in sizes. Um, there's some good ones in here and there's some early ones amongst this lot. It was a job lot. The picture was pretty grainy and it was pretty far away. So you couldn't really get an idea of anything what you were buying. Um, but let's have a look what we got. We got a pipe wrench, which is a 141, which is the second smallest they do. Um, I think I have an original older version of that. Um, yeah, maybe it's up on this one. Uh, yeah. So this is the sort of more 60s version and this is the original version and um, the earlier version from the 1930s and this is probably from the 60s or 50s or something when this one came out. So this is a 141 that was called the 91 so they had slightly different numbers. Um, so that wasn't one of the reasons why I bought it. We got two of these tire spoon um, 8 inches which are reasonably uncommon but they got different date codes on them one of them is a 190 and one is a uh, 171 so two different date cut two different date codes v steel backhoe they look to be pretty similar um reasonable condition no heavy rust and they are volvo which is always good to see a different uh, name and um, we've got some here oh i didn't even notice this one is a cronensberg so we've got a Cronensberg number 21, which is a, obviously the same as the Baco 31. I didn't know, I didn't notice that. I thought they were all Bacos. And um, this is a Baco 31, um, hasn't got it. Oh yeah, it says there Volvo. So it's the same as the other one out of a Volvo toolkit. Um, and the Cronensberg, which is kind of unusual in the UK, Cronensberg. Um, we got six inches, we got various ones. I think we got five, six inches. Um, various ones we've got one early one but it's it's been chewed up a little bit these are more from the 60s um not particularly and this one's like maybe from the 50s um but there's some some reasonable ones um but nothing overly special with the six inches the eight inches um the the we got two 70 ones and then this is a later one with the v steel an 0671 so the, the 70s ones are earlier, and then the 0671s are later. So these are probably from the, maybe the 70s or 80s, and this one's probably from the 50s or something, 40s, whatever. So um, some early ones there. We've got a 4-inch little model, which is really cool, a little 4-inch. Um, but unfortunately, it's had a weld repair on both sides, so... Obviously, someone's probably had a 60-foot cheetah bar on it, some idiot. Don't know how you'd break a four-inch, really. But anyway, um, we've got two little small uh, backhoes, uh, a 10 and a 10B, which is really nice. Um, a 10 and a 10B. And when you see the backhoe and it goes bigger in the middle, goes out and in, that's very, that's an early one. So I reckon that's from the 1930s. So these need going in the evaporust and a good clean-up. Um, we've got a couple more six inches. This one is a very early example, but yet again, someone's been marking it to show it's theirs and they weren't going to lose that. Look how many marks they've done, which is a real shame because the early one's a bit bit rarer. And then we've got a later one as well, an 0670 and then a 70. 
Um, I've not got one of these before. This, these were um, in bike kits, um, push bike kits in, in uh, Sweden. So they're quite common in Sweden, but not very common in England. And this is a number 15, backhoe number 15. Um, and this is these come in six inch little uh, auto wrench. And they come in their uh, pipe uh, push bike kits. You see, this is a very early one. You can see that the backhoe goes bigger in the middle. So this is an earlier and it's in reasonable condition, this one. A 10 inch in good condition, a backhoe 82. So this is probably from the 1930s or 20s. A nice example, that one. Um, we've got a, a more modern V-Steel 0673, the 12 inch or the 673, uh, made in Sweden. A good wrench and I'm sure that will clean up a vapor rust and clean up very nicely um, but a bit modern for my taste we've got a couple of 10 inches at uh, 72 so not very old but reasonable condition quite some heavy rust but not too bad again um, we've got I think these are 10 inches we've got a not quite a nice example of an early if you look at the back oh it goes bigger then over so this is the Baco 71 which is a really early example and then here we've got the more later examples um because the because of oh that's an early example so we've got two early examples of the straights which is really nice and then even that one's an early, it's got slightly bigger but yeah so that's not too bad the eight inches they're a success got some early ones um these are more Cronenberg and you can see what I mean We've got basically um, two seven inches, and this is a six inch. This looks like a really early Kronensberg, um, made in Norway. You see, it's just over the border in Norway, Kronensberg, and um, Sweden, and they're very close to factories. So this is a, a brand from Norway and then Sweden, but obviously they're very, very similar sort of indeed as well. Um, and then the, to bring up the rear, we've got some reasonably modern Ergos, um so not really interested in those um nothing special so pre some pretty cool stuff really so this is um, um i've got some real favorites we've got a couple of these which are really nice this is a really nice example this is really good and there's, pro there's probably 10 good ones amongst this which is not a bad haul of early rare backhoe wrenches. Um, well, they're not that rare because they're the straight ones, but they're uncommon anyway, to say the least. Um, so yeah, some nice examples there. Um, so this is a guess the price for all these items plus carriage. So put in the guess below, uh, put in the guess which, are the be which is the best item. For me, the best item in this ooh, is, ooh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I think I'd probably go for this because I don't have one and it's quite an early one and um, I quite like it. The little auto wrench, 16th auto wrench. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, having a look through this parcel. It's just come through the door. So quite a lot here. And um, the chap I actually bought them from is a caretaker and he says he gets job lots. So I said, next time you get a job lot, just let me know what you want and we can work a deal out. So hopefully... Um, there's some uh, interesting items here you've not seen before. I mean, the fishtails, the tire spoons, the backhoe auto wrench, the offset. There's some cool stuff in here. And Kronersberg introducing you to a new brand. Um, I, I, they're quite new on my radar, Kronersberg, because they don't usually get them very much in the UK at all. All right, I hope you enjoyed this very much. Uh, take care. Have a great day. Bye.